away from the start of hurricane season and Governor John Bell Edwards says coastal restoration remains a top priority. As Sabrina Wilson reports, Edwards applauded the legislature for approving an updated coastal master plan as well as a coastal plan for the new budget year. The 2023 Atlantic hurricane season begins next Thursday and Governor Edwards stressed the importance of restoring Louisiana's coastline. Louisiana's coastline is vulnerable. Every hour and a half, we lose a football game with land in Louisiana. When a coastline is healthy, wetlands serve as buffers for wind and water from hurricanes, lessening the impact of storm surges. Our industrial base and our economy is based along the coast. Uh, that, that not investing in coastal restoration and protection simply is not an option. Restoration efforts have been a priority for years. Since 2016, so over the course of the two terms that I've been governor, we've restored and maintained 83 miles of levees, 26,118 acres of coastal land, and 22 miles of barrier island. And we see the benefits of this every time there is a storm. This week, the legislature unanimously approved the 2023 Coastal Master Plan. The, the master plan is really the state's vision for the long-term sustainability of South Louisiana that prioritizes how the state intends to spend $50 billion over 50 years. The 2023 Coastal Master Plan identifies 77 restoration and risk reduction projects that literally span the entire coast from Cameron Parish in the southwest to St. Bernard Parish in the southeast. Uh, these would restore and maintain over 300 square miles of Louisiana's coastal wetlands and reduce expected annual damage by up to $15 billion compared to a future without action. Since the first master plan was done in 2007, we have secured close to $30 billion to fund these master plans, 30, 30 billion. But, but one of the things that I think is very important for the public to understand about the master plan is, is that the state of Louisiana is always going to have a, a plan that looks at the long-term sustainability of South Louisiana. Legislators also approved the plan for the new budget year, which starts this July 1st. In the next fiscal year, fiscal year 2024, we will invest a record-breaking $1.6 billion dollars in coastal restoration and hurricane protection projects across the coast. That includes 147 active projects next year. As the legislative session winds down, Edwards hasn't given up on getting a $3,000 pay raise for school teachers. What statement are we sending to our teachers? More importantly, what's, what are we saying to our children? That we value them less? than our neighboring states. The legislative session by law must end by June 8th, so lawmakers have about two weeks to get the rest of their work done. At the state capitol, I'm Sabrina Wilson, Fox 8 Local First. The $1.6 billion plan for the coming fiscal year includes 21 dredging projects. It will be used for sediment to nourish more than 14,000 acres of land along the coast. It's an investment that is expected to create 9,000 jobs in the coastal sector.